Toledo, it's my hometown. You know, not many dreams come out of Toledo. You're either in the streets, dead or in jail. Boxing was my first love. I can say when I came out the womb, I was throwing punches. I grew up in a boxing family. My dad, he boxed, and everybody knew him growing up, so I thought he was famous. I was just like, man, I want to be just like him. He used to always be in the gym with me. He was at every fight. He wanted to be just like his father. I didn't start competing until I was 10. I was uh, beating everybody up in Toledo. Then we got to traveling. I love kicking butt. <laughs> I dreamed of being a world champion, and that part of my career didn't happen. He wanted to get to where I didn't get. My dad had a short career, and I made a promise to myself that I would make him live that out through me. The lightweight championship on the line. The Comey fight, I told myself, this is what you always dreamed of, so you got to go get it. I was very proud what he had set out to do and done. He got jumped in his arms. You know, he held me up like a little kid. It does feel like I'm a winner as well because he accomplished what I didn't. Winning the world title was a life-changing experience for me. Man, it was surreal. We both lived out our dreams at that moment. It just felt great. Moving to West Palm Springs, it took me out of my comfort zone. I've been knowing Kevin Cunningham for years. I knew he had a strong camp, no slacking in this program. I can really focus on boxing and on me. That moment on the beach is motivation and inspiration to help my dad achieve his dreams. Thinking about the fight, I'm putting in double overtime. It was actually fun to me, doing what I love. 